Like all major cities in sub-Saharan Africa, Nairobi is a city undergoing rapid economic and population growth. By 2030, 60% of the population in low and middle income will reside in cities. City food supply is a rising concern for food security. Productivity and yields need to be improved to meet the growing needs of African urban dwellers. However, ensuring food safety and quality depend on application of good practices at appropriate points throughout the food chain, from pre-production to the point of sale. Vegetables are important in the horticulture subsector in Kenya. They contribute 45% of the market share. These vegetables are very important, particularly to the smallholder farmer. However, there are many constraints affecting their production. One of them is losses attributed to pests. Farmers therefore look for control, including chemical pesticides. But when they apply these chemical pesticides, they have a negative effect on the environment on themselves and particularly a horrible effect on the food safety. However, one third of food production in Africa is lost during the production phase. Because of the tropical climate, many insects contribute to increase of crop losses. To feed the future, we need to produce more vegetables. But the more we produce, the more we have to deal with insect pests. More insects means more synthetic insecticides and more threat to our health and our environment. The major objectives of the Bionet Agro project are to show the effectiveness of eco-friendly nets at protecting vegetables and their adoption by small-scale farmers. To reduce insecticide and produce healthy vegetables, a team of scientists from many institutions developed the use of eco-friendly nets with farmers in different climate conditions in Benin and Kenya. On this scale, we have damage by African bollworm, damage by diamond back moth, damage by thrips, and leaf miner. With under the net, there is minimal or no damage at all. On watermelon, we cover the plant after pollination. Without nets, we get uh, insect damages, particularly fruit flies. Studying here the effect of eco friendly nets on insect pest damage. On the right here, we have a beetroot crop that is grown under the net that is clean with no damage. On the left here, we have another crop that was grown in the open and is heavily damaged by insect pests. So, despite the fact that these two crops were planted on the same day, we find that the one on the right is far much better than the one on the left. Our students are also investigating the effect of the microclimate created by the net on the physiology of the crops, such that we find that some plants end up maturing earlier than those ones that are grown outside. We also have the effect of different colors of the nets, so that we see the effect of visual barrier on insect pest damage. Isn't 
The cabbages inside the net don't have any pest incidents. There is no much irrigation because it retains moisture and no much use of insecticide. I tested this technology for the first time on my cabbages and I'm having good results with the crops that are covered compared to those which are not covered. I'd be very great if I can get a bigger net to cover my farm. I'm a small scale farmer. I deal with agronet technology. I grow vegetables such as cabbages, tomatoes, spinach, carrots. I, as compared those inside the net, they grow well. Germination rate is good. No chemical used or if used, less chemical compared with outside. Nimetumia neti kwa kab, kwa kukuza cabbage. I've been using net technology in my farm for the last two seasons and I've learned that net protects our crop from insects, especially tomatoes and cabbages, and it also increases the yield and the growth rate of the plant. I planted uh, these cabbages uh, on the same day, both under the net and the ones outside the net. His net is many ideas, sana kwa kupada maboga. The nets have helped me in the cabbage production, as I do not use much pesticide. I would like to use it with other crops such as tomato, beans, spinach, and strawberry. Na spinach na vitu vingine kwa net ni meshkuru sana. Eco-friendly nets increase the incomes of smallholder farmers through increased yields, for example, 30% increase in the yield of tomatoes, improved quality, improved higher farm gate prices, reduced losses, and reduced use of insecticide. Future opportunities will need a study to identify potential adopters of the nets. It is important to train farmers in the proper use and handling of eco-friendly nets. The results show 70 to 100 percent reduction in insecticide use in cabbages and tomatoes. The nets improve the quality of vegetables, our health and the environment. The nets can also be used on other vegetable crops. They are produced locally and may be recycled. Training and diffusion are now necessary to develop the net among the small-scale farmer. A to Z manufactures nets for public health and also agronets for agriculture. We have the capacity to produce up to 30 million nets in one year. And these nets, we can also distribute them across the region. We have a fleet of about uh, 400 trucks and drivers who can deliver our nets to countries in East, Central, and even Southern Africa. We also have the capacity to recycle the nets, to produce materials for agriculture, and also for construction. Our vision is to ensure, or rather to contribute to the uh, increased food productivity across Africa by improved technology. The white flies suck the sap of uh, the leaves and at the same time they transmit virus to the plant. In these columns we test the repellent effect of natural product on the white flies Bemisia tabaci.
After identifying repellent essential oil against strips, now we are working using gas chromatography mass spectrometer to identify the specific repellent compound against strips. More research is necessary to combine the eco-friendly net with biological control method, since the small insect can cross through the net. For instance, the visual and physical barrier of the net could be combined with another barrier produced by a companion plant with a repellent effect. 